what you try to get a mix of, ideally, you're going to want young players that have this upside, this developmental future that you feel like is going to strengthen your roster come the end of the season or next year that are going to be more salary cap friendly depth players as opposed to going out and signing a veteran player for, you know, a little bit more money. And so through COVID, because you had these unlimited elevations, if COVID were to happen uh, in a replacement situation, you got a little bit more freedom to know, okay, there, you know, this guy's got his, let me, let me just go back. And, and so if a guy's on your practice squad, you have three elevations that you can elevate him throughout the year. Last year it was right. two. They, they've upped it. They've upped that to three times. You can elevate a guy before having to sign him to your active roster. Uh, and what that helps you to do is you don't have to expose a young player to waivers like we did in the past. So previously, before these elevations existed, you wanted to get a guy to game day from your practice squad. You'd have to sign him, which would cost you making another transaction as to waiving a, a different player or cutting a different player on your roster who wouldn't be playing. Um, and so you risk losing the player that you were claiming to make the move for. And then once the game was over, cutting that player to get back on your practice squad and losing him potentially. So it just, it made a lot more sense to help these teams out to use a guy on game day if they got injury stricken and and not cost you possibly losing that guy to another team claiming him. So there's a little bit of, of juggling with that. And, and coaches all want some familiarity with the players. They don't just want a roster full of, of young players, rightfully so, because you got to get some guys who in a moment's notice you can call up and get them to the game and be able to win a game. Um, and so, you know, Latavius was, was an interesting guy for us because we obviously had a great experience with him. We love the person. Um, we love the body type. And, you know, 32 years old, guys like that, they do find themselves come the beginning of the season still on the street because it's a little bit of unfamiliar territory where everybody's always trying to find younger, more developmental players that they could maybe buy low and end up hitting on. Uh, and some of these veteran players aren't necessarily open to the veteran practice squad spot right at the beginning of the year because they hope that maybe there's an injury at the position and they just get signed out right to the active roster. And then also the other wrinkle to the situation is that if someone signs a player off of your practice squad, they have to commit three weeks to keeping that player on their roster. Um, and so veteran players feel as though they don't want to, they don't want to be locked into a team because no one wants to commit to them for three weeks. So some guys would be like, I'd rather stay on the street. That way they can just sign me as needed, as opposed to worrying about keeping me for three weeks. Um, all that being said, uh, Latavius was a great addition. We called him up and, you know, when we needed him. And he had a great game for us. He was definitely a difference in that game. And uh, we would have loved to have keep him, uh, to have kept him. Um, but I, I think in, in the player's mind that there was a greater opportunity to contribute in a more significant role with those guys having a major injury at their running back position. Uh, and it was nothing about, you know, anything from the opportunity here versus there. It is just, you know, it's a greater opportunity to be more involved quicker for Latavius. And, and I'm happy for him. He, de he deserved it. Of the 16 that you have on the practice squad, you can pr protect from that no team can touch. Is it six? No, you, the, the protections are now gone. That was something that um, that the league did last year, and you could protect a guy um, starting on Tuesday of the week. It, it was it was really kind of like a we didn't we've never protected a player ever, um, and there really wasn't a trend if you wanted to try to go into it to be like, okay, are these their better? practice squad players that they don't want to lose or these guys that they're going to play at the end of the week. Um, it was just kind of like a mixed bag of those things. So that's another thing these veterans had to be educated on this year is that, Hey, look, we can't protect you from, from signing anywhere anymore. If you have an opportunity to sign to an active roster and we want to keep you, we'd love to sign you as well, but ultimately it's your choice whether or not you want to stay with us or not. We're not going to hold any hostages here. This came because of something bad with COVID, but it feels yeah. like, the NFL will tweak it each year, but it, it feels mm -hmm. like they've found a number that, that it's like you've got finally, you're not having to go out on the street and find players. You get to grow players and you may lose them, but you get to really yeah. grow players within your system. This, this has been a, a betterment, if you will, uh, something that started kind of bad. Well, I look particularly at, at, you know, a couple guys that we've had great experiences with using. I think the veteran uh, addition is, is such a great, tool for our league because you know it used to be these guys would run out of eligibility if they played early in their career and then you're getting these guys that are six to 
eight-year veterans that really are struggling to find a job because they, their only option is to sign to an active roster. And so you get guys like J.P. Holtz, who we activated this past week because he's a skill set that we love and he's tough and he's smart. And he's everything that, that, that we like from a football DNA standpoint. And had we not had the availability of veteran practice squad and these elevations, like, you know, I don't know how J.P. gets through our game uh, early on as we still figure out what he does well for us. You know, we had Christian Ringo earlier in the year that we used that for, um, you know, last year we had several guys that we kind of found um, some value out of using them because maybe from special teams they flash and they make plays or, you know, just in, any type of getting more exposure to these players, whether it's a 10 game, I mean, 10 play, 15 play exposure in one week that adds a little bit of what you felt coming out of preseason. I, I think the elevation part of it has really helped us to be, to be a little bit more open-minded to playing some of these guys. And it's helped out a lot. And like I said, with injuries rising um, and, and that just happening in, over the course of our league, then you got to be prepared to play guys from your practice squad. And, and the more comfortable we are with that, the better we're going to be financially.